I mean, why does bro look majestic? Listen, bro, I just woke up and I just look like this. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? Listen, it's not my fault. Allah tests his slaves and his servants in different ways. Some people are tested with height. Some people are tested with beauty. I was tested with both. You know, some of you guys are tested with ugliness. It is what it is. Okay. But at the end of the day, everyone will look equally beautiful in Jannah. Everyone will be the same height in Jannah. Everyone will be the same build in Jannah. So there's nowhere where you can be jealous of anyone else. How old are you? I am 20 years old, man. Haq, haq. Uh, sent. Where is your teddy bear? I don't know where my teddy bear is. That's a very good question. I actually gave away my teddy bear. At 1 million followers, I think I'm going to give away Umer the bear, but I don't know if I really should or not because he's kind of a part of the brand now. So I don't really know. How do you feel about Christians? They're Christians. They have their own religion. We have our own religion. Guess who's back again? But I'm thinking about giving him away to a random follower, not like giving him away to some random person. I'm saying like just to a random follower. Did you get married yet? I did not get married yet. Bro, you know what's crazy? Every time I go live, these people like these battlers that are on live like 24 seven that I'm mutuals with, they'll just start requesting me. And I'm like, bro, not every single TikToker is on live to battle. Like relax, hold on. Oh my goodness, bro. Can you wish me a happy birthday? May Allah bless you and honor you and grant you many more years. I mean, but they start spam requesting me and I'm like, bro, I'm not sitting on live just to battle 24 7 bro like yeah i have times where i battle but the vast majority of my lives are spent yapping and giving da'wah or whatever the case may be assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu moderators can we please do our job if someone is spamming the same comments three four or five times please mute them barakallahu feek i appreciate it okay if we have any moderators even here in the first place and every time i complain about my moderators everyone else starts saying give me moderator give me moderator even if i gave you moderator i'm 99 percent sure you wouldn't do your job okay does it talk about jesus in the quran 100 there are various verses in the quran that talk about about Jesus, the miracles of Jesus, the honor and the messengership of Jesus, and also explaining why Jesus is not God. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Do I like the way you kiss me? What are you talking about, bro? Fear Allah, fear God, fear the Creator, bro. What are you saying, bro? Oh my goodness, how can I be a mom? I don't know, bro. You have to get pregnant and have a child, and then you can become a mom. That's pretty much how it works, right? What does the name Yasin mean? Even though it's going to be pretty hard for you because no one likes you and no one wants to marry you, guys. By the way, I posted two new videos today. One of my recent videos is the top. Muslim names with the coolest meanings, bro. With the coldest, with the hardest meanings, bro. So go watch that video, inshallah. Maybe your name's featured in it. Who knows, bro? If you're really Himothy, your name will be featured in it. If you're not, then it is what it is. Maybe in the next one, inshallah. Our birthday is considered to be shirk. Not generally speaking, but there are certain practices that are associated with shirk. For example, blowing out the candles. This comes from a pagan tradition, right? Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, guys. By the way, while you guys are here, if you guys could double tap the screen, share the live out to whoever you guys know, I would really appreciate it. Okay, let's get some people in here. I don't know what the purpose of this live is. It's probably just the apping, but wallahu alam. Are you married yet? I am not married, not yet. 21, can you do something for me? Salam alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Astaghfirullah. I don't know where that came from. I just saw Sunni join and her username is 21. Didn't it used to be like 38 or something or am I tripping? I don't know, bro. Can you do a match with me, please? I mean, considering the fact that I don't know who you are and I've never seen you before, I don't think I would be able to battle you. Salam, my brother. Wa alaikum assalam. Who is your favorite prophet? Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Where should I follow you when TikTok gets banned? Well, when that happens, you should follow me on Instagram and YouTube. But why are you waiting until that happens? Go follow me on Instagram right now. We're almost at a hundred thousand followers on Instagram. Go follow the Instagram and go follow the YouTube before we hit a mil. Inshallah. Salam, wa alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. Are you Muslim? I am a Muslim, bro. I need to know what type of content to post on YouTube. Like all I'm doing right now is just posting my TikToks and reposting them right onto YouTube. But should I make vlogs on YouTube? Should I make higher quality Q&A videos and reaction videos? But the issue is, I don't know if I have enough time to put into that much effort, okay? I'm already struggling with school and TikTok. So if you add YouTube on top of that, it's gonna get kind of interesting. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, rahmatullah. Vlogs, would you guys really sit through an entire Brownie Saudi vlog? I don't know, bro. I mean, if you guys would, and if the vast majority of you guys would, then maybe I'll do it. But if the vast majority of you guys wouldn't, then I probably wouldn't. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, guys. Please call my name. Okay, Assalamu alaikum, Ammar. How are you, man? Are wedding rings haram? Go speak to a scholar because it, when it comes to the rulings of the rings, there's very specific rulings and scholars have different opinions on this mess. Ada. Gohan, thank you so much for the roses, man. What is your real name? My real name is Saad, bro. I, I, I don't understand why people cannot understand my real name. Like, if you're a non-Muslim, I could get why you might have some trouble understanding what my real name is. But if you're a Muslim, you've 100% met somebody named Saad before. Saad is one of the most common Muslim names of all time, bro. In my life, I've met like 15, 20 people named Saad. 
Okay, so you guys have definitely met someone named Saad. So when a Muslim reads my username, you should be able to easily tell like, okay, Brownie's obviously not his name, but Saad is probably his name. And if you're a non-Muslim, I don't blame you. Or if you're a revert, I don't blame you. But if you are a born Muslim, you should be able to tell, bro. It's really not that hard. Okay, you Shay, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Salaamu alaykum wa alaykum wa salam. I love you so much. I'm a man. It's okay, bro. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said in an authentic hadith, if you love your Muslim brother, you should tell your Muslim brother that you love him. If you love your Muslim brother, you should tell your Muslim brother. And this is one of the examples where it's so easy to get good deeds in Islam. And I would argue that Islam is the easiest religion for a person to get good deeds. Because even if you tell your Muslim brother, I love you, and you genuinely mean it, and your intention is pure, and it's not in a weird qawmi lut type of way, you get good deeds for that. And even if you smile at someone with a pure intention, you get good deeds for that. And even if you take a nap, because you want to take it according to the sunnah of the Prophet wasallam, which is at around 10 a.m., and then you wake up before dhuhr, you get good deeds for that. There are so many opportunities to get good deeds. That's why I'm saying, if a person goes to Jahannam, okay, that's just means they were the worst of the worst of people and they literally had no connection with Allah whatsoever. Okay? They had zero connection with Allah whatsoever and they ended up in Jahannam because they were so arrogant that they didn't even want to ask for forgiveness. Okay? They didn't even want to repent to Allah. Okay? So just understand Islam is one of the easiest, if not the easiest religion to get good deeds and for you to go to Jannah is Islam. Okay? All Allah tells us to do in the Quran is a few things, okay? And this is the recipe for going to Jannah. And there's a reason why you're seeing this right now because Allah wants you to hear it. So listen up, okay? The recipe for going to Jannah is, number one, you stay away from the major sins. Allah already knows everyone's gonna commit minor sins, right? Every single human being commits minor sins, okay? Every single one, and we know because the Prophet wasallam said it. He said, Kullu bani Adam khatta. Every single son of Adam will commit these minor sins, okay? However, Allah says stay away from the major ones. Stay away from the major sins like zina. Stay away from the major sins like murder. Stay away from the major sins like shirk. Okay? So stay away from these things. Okay? And when it comes to the minor sins, you will be forgiven. If you repent sincerely. If you repent sincerely, you will be forgiven. And complete all of the obligations that have been put upon you. Okay? So your salah, complete that obligation. Your zakat, complete that obligation. Okay? Ain't no way Zaid still hasn't followed you back? What do you mean Zaid still hasn't followed me back? What, Zaid didn't, Zaid unfollowed me? No, he didn't unfollow me. What do you mean? He did not unfollow me. Wait, what do you mean? No, 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 he didn't unfollow me. I can still see when he's live. Anyways, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I'm confused now. But also the obligations, complete all of the obligations. And even among the obligations, Islamically, there's so much leniency. There's so much leniency. Like some people, they have this issue. Some people, they have this issue and they're like, okay, you know what, bro? Like, what if I can't go to Hajj? What if I'm just dirt broke and poor? and I can't go to Hajj, right? Even then, there's an exception, right? Allah gives you an exception, right? And you're not gonna be held accountable. For example, a homeless Muslim that barely had enough money for food, how is he supposed to go to Hajj? How is he supposed to book a plane ticket and travel all the way there? He just never had the opportunity, you know what I mean? And he never had the financial ability. So how is he supposed to do it? Well, Allah says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها, And it is clear that this person will not be held accountable. Same with zakat, right? If you don't even have enough money to pay zakat, Right? Or if you don't even have enough basic money to take care of yourself, then the obligation of zakat is not upon you. You are actually eligible for zakat. So Islam is such a perfect system. Okay? With that even within the obligations, there's leniency. Right? Bro, I have a very genuine question. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Are Cheetos haram? Okay, so this is a complicated fiqh question because when it comes to hot Cheetos, there are some medhebs and some scholars and some, some schools of thought that actually count like these, these enzymes from animals and they say that that's what makes it haram. But then there are other scholars that say that these are so ign insignificant and they don't affect the Cheetos in any way that it's halal and that is the opinion that I follow. I follow the opinion that they're so insignificant, they're so small that they're not something that we should be worried about. I'm not giving a fatwa but you know, you know the hadith about prayers not counting for 40 days. Yes, I know that hadith. Gohan with the perfume. Thank you so much. Is the hajjud really that good? Wake up and try it, okay? Wake up and try it and you'll see change in your life. And you'll feel good, bro. You'll feel good because you did an act of worship that was not obligatory. The hajjud is not obligatory, right? So you are actually himati if you pray to hajjud. I'm not going to lie. Don't gas yourself up too much. But you are actually himati if you pray to hajjud. Thank you so much for the ice cream, guys. I appreciate it. Is voting permissible? Go speak to a scholar. I don't understand why we're bringing these... Uh, these concepts in which there are many different opinions and we're asking random people on TikTok. Go speak to a scholar, inshallah. Okay, just because you have doubts about it or whatever the case may be doesn't mean you bring it to other people that are not qualified to answer these questions. Okay, go speak to a qualified ulama, a qualified scholar, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Assalamu alaikum, are major sins forgiven? Every major sin, yes, it can be forgiven. 
it can be forgiven. You just have to do tawbah. You have to repent to Allah sincerely. Okay, every sin can be forgiven. You just have to turn back to Allah and leave that sin and sincerely regret it. Can you recite haq? What do you mean haq? There's no surah in the Quran called surah haq. I don't know what you're talking about. The entire Quran is haq, but I don't know what you're talking about. When are you going to do a nasheed live? Never, never again. Okay, nasheed lives are nerfed for good. Okay, when will qurbani be? So I think this will happen on the 10th, 11th and 12th of Dhul Hijjah. I'm not really sure the exact dates, but I'm pretty sure it's June something. Battle Danzi? Hell no. Um, why? What do you mean why? Oh, why? Because last time I did a Nasheed live, some dude was pissing, bro. Some dude was literally pissing, bro. I don't know I don't know what, what he was on, but bro, literally his, his username was like some, some uh, it was like some Sahaba that he had his username after and then he opened his camera and just started pissing, bro. Like, what am I supposed to do, bro? What am I supposed to do, bro? Um, bro, it doesn't let me ty type haqqa. You just did, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. What's good? What is good in the hood, ladies and gentlemen? I've noticed it deters a lot of Muslims from praying. Do you know why it's good or could you explain? Well, let me explain something to you. Even if that ruling applies to you, even if you have uh, done that sin and now you, 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 uh, your prayers, you still have to pray. The obligation of the salah is still upon you. It's just the salah is not going to count. Okay? So, and a lot of people don't understand this, right? Even if you drank alcohol and now, you know, your prayers are invalid for 40 days, you still have to pray. It is haram if you miss that prayer. You're going to get double the sin if you miss that prayer. Okay? It's just your salah is not going to count. Uh, but you still have to, you still have to get up and you still have to pray every single one. Okay, and if you miss that, that's a double sin. That's a double sin, right? So that's the clarification that a lot of people don't understand. And then they fall into even more sin. Nu'man, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I love you. I love you too, Habibi. Barakallahu feek. Can you recite Quran, inshallah? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How do you pray if you don't speak Arabic? You memorize it. It's not that hard. There are not too many things you have to memorize. It's just Surah Fatiha and the basics of prayer. Allahu Akbar. Sami Allahu liman hamida. Subhana Rabbi Radim. Subhana Rabbi Ada. And at tahiyatu lillahi wa salawatu wa tayyibatu. You have to put in the time and memorize these things, bro. It is what it is. Do you need to pray at 11 years old? Everyone needs to pray. Okay? But the obligation of prayer, the prayer, like if you miss a prayer, it won't count until the age of puberty. Right? I love your videos. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum. Read an ayah. Fabi ayy ala ma tuk diban. Can a jinn you have killed testify against you on the day of judgment? You're not killing no jinns, bro. I don't know who you think you are, bro. Uh, but I think a, any jinn, even the weakest of jinns, would solo you in a fight, bro. I don't know who, who bro, thinks he is. Like, I'm gonna kill a jinn. Like, you're not that guy, bro. Relax. You're not himity like that, bro. Calm down. Okay, I don't know what the hell this guy's yapping about, bro. Assalamu alaikum, wa alaikum assalam. Do you go to heaven if you're 11? Uh, if you're under the age of puberty and you pass away, then that's an automatic ticket to Jannah. Okay? Bro thinks he's himothy that he can like choke out a jinn or something. Like, bro, you're not that guy. You would get folded in two seconds, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You would get folded, not even two seconds, in one second, bro. Jinns are physically stronger than humans. We're smarter than them, obviously. And we have Ayatul Kursi and we have du'as. But when it comes to biologically, they're way stronger than us. They're made out of fire, bro. How are you gonna fight something that's made out of fire, bro? Okay? Why would something be put in place which deters people from praying? Is it more to deter the sin? Well, I mean... It is more to deter the sin, yeah, I would say, because, well, also, it's not really that it's supposed to deter people from praying, because people still have to pray. It's just a punishment. Uh, it shows the gravity of, of the sin, right? And also, Allah has the right to, to, to prescribe whatever rulings He wants upon us. But I would say it shows the gravity of how serious the sin is. And it's more of a warning that like your salah and that sweetness of salah, because at the end of the day, salah is a sweetness and salah is a privilege that we have, right? Um, and uh, it, it is a privilege that we are able to worship Allah. So when you see it from that perspective, it's a lot It's a lot different. Imagine getting roasted by a brownie. Uh, I guess, yeah, I don't know. Um, assalamu alaikum, alaikum assalam, rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Salam, I'm a big fan. I watch your videos every day. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate that. Thank you guys for the roses. Barakallahu feek. I appreciate it, guys. You know, there's only one person on right now when it comes to battles, and it's that guy, malignant disease. Bro, this guy never gets off, chat. Like, I don't know. I, like, bro, every single time I'm live, whether it's night, whether it's morning, whether it's 5 p.m., Bro, the guy is always live. Danzi's on. I don't care, bro. He's probably copying my live too. Anyways, I don't know what the hell, like, bro, like, go eat some food or something. Actually, speaking of food, bro, I need to actually eat. I haven't eaten anything yet. I actually haven't eaten or drink. Technically.